Turning your body into a fat burning machine, you hear that phrase thrown a lot around in the fitness profession. And what does that actually mean? I guess it means that you, how do I train my body so I can condition my body to be more effective and more efficient at tapping into the fat stores and maybe not using carbohydrate as a source of energy. And as you already know, the body uses fat and carbohydrate with a little bit of protein and maybe a splash of alcohol if you throw that in on the weekend as a source of energy. So the body mainly uses fat and carbohydrate. So the measurement, the scientific measurement of what we call your respiratory quotient or respiratory exchange ratio actually measures is your body using fat or carbohydrate, what percentage of each. Now the average person probably uses around 50-50 at rest and then as they exercise, obviously you'll go lean more towards the carbohydrate. But what you find is that the fitter you get, the more the body gets conditioned to use more fat as a source of energy at rest and also more fat during exercise. So the goal of exercise is not to burn calories. It's not the calories you burn, it's how you burn them that count. It's not the amount of calories, it's how you burn them. Because how you burn them will determine if you're getting fitter. So when you train, try to train for fitness. Try to raise the intensity to get fitter. Because as you get fitter, the body becomes more effective at utilizing fat as a source of energy by changing your respiratory quotient. So train for fitness so you can change your body's physiology, so you can change your respiratory quotient so the body's more effective at tapping into the fat during the exercise, but most importantly, not just during the exercise, but also for the other 23 and a half hours of the day, and the other six days in the week when you're at rest or sleeping when the body's actually using more fat as a source of energy and sparing your carbohydrate. And that would be no carbon.